Hi all. Welcome back to DevOps Camp. This is the next video of the Docker Hands on Tutorial series. In today's video, we'll dive into the basics of Docker and show you how to run your first container. So, let's get started. Before we begin, make sure you have Docker installed and running on your system. If you haven't done that yet, don't worry. Check out our previous video on Docker installation and setup for step by step instructions. Alright, let's open up our terminal and type in the following command to check if Docker is up and running. For that run the command, docker version. Great! If you see the docker version information displayed, it means docker is successfully installed and running on your machine. Now, let's move on to running our first container. Docker containers are created from docker images, which are like templates for containers. We can pull images from the Docker Hub, which is a public registry of pre-built images. Let's start by pulling a simple image called, hello world, to demonstrate the process. Type in the command, docker pull, hello dash world, to pull the hello world image from Docker Hub. Docker will download the image from the Docker Hub. Once the download is complete, we're ready to run our container. Now, let's run the container using the pulled image. Enter the command, docker run, hello dash world. And just like that, our container is up and running. The container executes a simple program that prints a hello world message. This demonstrates the isolation and portability of Docker containers. You can see that Docker automatically pulled the hello world image since it wasn't available locally. It created a new container from the image, executed the program inside the container, and displayed the output for us. Now, let's explore a few more options while running a container. We can use the dash D flag to run the container in the background, and the dash P flag to map container ports to host ports. Let me show you an example. Let's pull the image, Tomcat, from the Docker Hub. Tomcat is a popular open source web server and servlet container for Java code. To pull the Tomcat image, run the command docker pull tomcat. By default it runs on port 8080. If we want to run it with the default port and settings, we can execute the command docker run -it -rm tomcat or we can run the container in background by including the dash d flag and we can map the default port 8080 to a port as we wish. For that, we have to use the flag dash p. Combining both of these, we can run the container in background and 8080 port mapped to 8888 by running the command docker run dash it dash dash rm dash d dash p 8888 colon 8080 tomcat. By using the dash d flag, the container runs in the background and the dash p flag maps port 8888 of the host system to port 8080 of the container and dash it allows you to interact with the container shell. While the dash dash rm removes the container automatically when the container exit. Now the container is created. We can view the running containers by using the command docker ps. Each docker image in a container is identified by a unique ID. In the ports tab, we can see the Tomcat container port 8080 is mapped to the port 8888 of the host machine. Now, we can access the web application by opening a browser and navigating to http colon double slash IP address of the server, which you can get from the command ifconfig and then colon 8888. That's it. You've successfully run your first container and explored some additional options. Remember, Docker containers are lightweight, isolated environments that can run on any system with Docker installed. Next. To stop a running container, we can use the command docker stop, followed by the container ID. That's it. We have successfully stopped the container. In this tutorial, we covered pulling images from Docker Hub, running containers, and exploring a few command line options. But Docker has so much more to offer. 
Make sure to check out our other tutorials in this playlist to dive deeper into the world of Docker. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. We will be going deeply through Docker platform in the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.